Hello everybody, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out Edition here on our DC Colony. Alright, so we are working on our automation, some entertainment, some gas storage, and getting our kitchen done. We have we have one more tile here. Let's get this tile. Whoops, wrong buttons. I, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. I want to push this button. Ha ha! <laughs> I pushed the Windows button for some reason. <laughs> Alright, anyways. So let's get that one done. Um, that means we can now go ahead and start clearing this out. Um, so that's good. So let's go ahead. I did it again. Uh, for some reason, I don't have it on full screen. And so it's showing me the Windows bar down at the bottom, and I keep going to it. But obviously, it doesn't show on the window, but I can see it on my recording that the Windows bar is black at the bottom. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> Not sure um, how that happened. Anyways, let's see. We can uh, deconstruct that one, that one, that one. <clears throat> and we can dig through here. <clears throat> Keep doing it. Um, definitely going to have to fix that here before the next recording. <laughs> That's going to keep messing me up. <laughs> um, all right, so he's going to deliver that. Now, this will allow us to build a gas range. Haha. -ha. So, we're going to do a gas range here. <clears throat> then we're going to do one over here. Once we get uh there we go. Uh then we're going to put in another refrigerator here. Then we need to start working on the automation for this. Uh, I don't know if we have quite enough metal for all of it. <coughs> but we're going to need that <coughs> that and then once we have um, that tile, uh, we can actually deconstruct these. So deconstruct. There we go. We'll be able to <clears throat> put in our automation. That also means we can expand our setup here. I realize we never got the bathroom in place either. I forgot we were didn't finish um, this all out yet. So let's go ahead and start working on all of this as well so that we can close out this and actually make it into a medical room because right now it's not a medical room because there's no bathroom. Just realize that. All right, well, we'll get that fixed. All right, now, as I was saying, we need to expand our plumbing. Um, so... What we're going to do is we're going to take this and stick it there. That's going to go like that. And that's going to go like that. And then we'll take this out and that'll complete the cooling. Um, this will need to come over here as well. And this will need to come over there as well. So let me see. That's going to be like that. And then... That's going to be like that. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right, and then we have our gas coming in already. We just need to hook it up. Guess we don't need that one. Excellent. Did we not set this one up? Insu oh, it's just saying insufficient. We didn't... Oh, I see what we did. Copy settings. We never set the second one up, so we're not doing the the actual cooking. I get it. Oh, we'll fix that. I didn't want to cancel the insulate. I... There we go. <coughs> I have one problem with this design. I just realized. I need... These things. Now, this one's fine. I can, I can stick this one here. This one also needs one, which means I'm going to have to do it up here. All right, so we're going to cancel that ceiling trim and cancel this ceiling trim. Did 
There we go. All right. So this one is just going to go there. And then this one's going to go here. Cool. <clears throat> Get all this taken care of. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Let's <clears throat> check on other things. Um, oh, yeah. We finally got the plant dug up. We can put in our second tank. Then we can fix our piping because we... Uh... <coughs> Didn't put that in the right spot. And we need one more of those. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be our backup storage for our gas ranges. All right. And I did see the comment. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. And how you mentioned it should be set up, but for the, the gas storage and all of that. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not going to change it at the moment, but, um, that is something that I can consider and, and try to fix. See, we're still doing fine up here. Good. Occasionally, I just want to check this to make sure we're not, like, you know, filling space with gas. I, I don't know how that actually happens, but it can. I'm also going to set that so that we just have the extra sulfur going. Suffocating. Oh, I guess not no more. All right. Uh, then we're working on this. Let me see. This one needs to take foodie foods. Um, are not fried mushrooms. There's no fried mushrooms down here. It just needs to take mushrooms. There we go. Cool. There's no power to it, though. Did we not hook up power wires? We did not hook up power wires. There we go. Now we have power wires. Oh, did we not? We probably didn't hook up power to this either. Yeah. Cycle change. Okay, cool. Well, we got a lot going on. It is all good. Um, let's take the direct lead eggs for now. Don't hurt anything. <clears throat> and let's just quickly do a skills check. You're good. Yeah, everybody's good. We, we're fine. Eventually, we could get some more um, dupes to come in. Would not hurt. But right now, we're, we're fine. <clears throat> we are moving forward quite smoothly. How come you guys aren't dancing? Oh, you're just standing around by the phone. Are you waiting your turn? Maybe he's waiting his turn, right? They're going, hurry up. Get off the phone. Remember when that used to be an issue? I don't think it's much of an issue anymore, but, you know, you'd have your house phone, right? <clears throat> and then, um, obviously, you know, the the vibe, or whatever you want to call it, I know it was like the, the daughter, usually, it was always on the phone, and, you know. Um, if it was the boy, it was after the advent of the computer and dial-up, and then it was like, you know, they'd pick up the phone and be you know he's like get off the phone and you know old world problems <laughs> i guess we don't have to worry about that as much anymore right um no we don't want that we want to come up here agriculture fertilizer okay <clears throat> so this is going to take the fertilizer and drop it off yeah almost got this um Built up. I wouldn't... Oh, yeah, we got the... No, we don't want you, Black Canary. We want the brine. Empty. Just trying to get an extra lock there. Uh, did we do that over here yet? Not yet. We got... We transported, but we didn't empty yet. <clears throat> so I've had it a couple times where the little drop, for some reason, disappears... Usually that would happen if there was, like, heat or or if it's freezing, right? Which is not the case, but occasionally. It's kind of like, uh, why'd that happen? I don't want that to happen. 
this thing's still dormant. <coughs> 18 cycles, still next activity. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. No problem. Okay, so we can continue this. Bump, bump. Let's go ahead and get those two done. Might as well start this process too. <clears throat> oh yeah, we never finished this. Uh, these don't need to be on a... We can do that now. Not that it's desperately needed. There really isn't much of a temperature. Well, I mean, there is. So if we have this in place, it'll just keep this little heat from coming through. So yeah, that's okay. We can do that. All right, you guys got those two done. Let's go ahead and come back up here. We will continue building this. <laughs> then that means we can start digging this out. Uh, we can also do new research. Okay, we want to focus on what's left for initial space. <clears throat> Petroleum engine is useless at the moment, so might as well not go for that. We've got the power option. <clears throat> That's the steam engine. I'm just taking a look here what we got. Diamond press... Payload openers, rover modules. I mean, we will want that, but let's get this one first. This one's our cap and stuff. Let's do that one next. All right, cool. Uh, we need more power. <laughs> you know. Oh. It's there. It's just the... They haven't done it yet. Okay, cool. That is all right. We'll get all of this automated soon enough. What's wrong here? Insufficient algae. Well, that can't be true. Hi, kitty. Are you are you helping us? Should we turn on the kitty cam? There we go. Y yeah, you're right in front of my screen, right here, you silly. You gonna lay down? Okay, good. Yeah, you're gonna get in the way of my mouse, aren't you? I know what you're gonna do. All right, we got algae down here. Let's let's go ahead and get algae. We have tons of algae on this map, so it is not <clears throat> an issue. Uh, we'll go ahead and dig this, this, and that. That'll give us the algae we want from there. There's also algae up here. Um, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and just pop into there and get it. And that'll take care of that. I mean, we're not desperate right now, but <clears throat> if we can get it stocked back up, since we don't have any other machines taking care of that currently. Uh, we still need to get into here. I think we can actually start doing this. Let's... <clears throat> what we want to do is build this up. Oops. Uh, my monitor is going wacko on me. You know, I sent the monitor in for repair again, right? And it keeps, it still keeps shutting on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. But it's what we did here. We somehow, <laughs> that must happen when the monitor went off. <clears throat> so anyways, the, the repair guy said that it might be my power issue not not the monitor itself now if it continues it might just be that i'm overloading the power strip <clears throat> and so the monitor turns off because it's just it's not drawing enough could be i don't know so i will pick up a power strip tomorrow it's like he brought it back worked six hours or so perfect didn't shut off and then it shut off <laughs> it's so annoying yeah you know so it's this monitor here i have the other one over here um, so it just moved the game from one screen to the other, which, you know, is not a problem, but it's kind of annoying when you're in the middle of the game. <laughs> Plus, now I can't see 
uh, the recording software and how long I've recorded for and, you know, all that kind of stuff. All minor, you know, quality of life issues, right? Terrible stuff. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> we will continue our build-out of the bathroom area. <clears throat> Also, they'll get to it. Let's not rush it. Let's just let them do things. What's this? Unknown mutation. So we need... <clears throat> the machine we haven't researched yet. Um, which I'm going to assume we're going to put here. Let, let's... Let's put it here, in this area. So I'll do that. <clears throat> Actually, no. Not do that. It doesn't need to be on the night. Do that, do that. Then we're gonna come in. We'll do that. We'll put the machine here once we research it. But I'll put this here so I can put this seed inside of it. <clears throat> That's good. I haven't done a lot with that machine. <clears throat> it's kind of tricky to do. Now, I could come over here and put... If I wanted to do more, I could put a planter right here. And then just put something in here and let it grow. Um, <clears throat> and as a result, the radiation here will help to mutate. So, get me some new seeds. Maybe I'll do that. Because I know that I've seen it, there are advantages to doing that, to where you can create seeds that don't need as much water, or don't need as much light, or don't need as much fertilizer, or produce more, or... <clears throat> so that would be good. Meanwhile, you guys are all busy doing all the busy work. That is good. Looks like we still need some more brine. That's polluted water. That's bright. Okay. Move you. Polluted water. That's polluted water. Polluted water. Brine. Okay. Let's move you. If I had a full bottle, it would solve it, but... You know, it's okay. We need to do the same thing over here. <clears throat> it's a good use of these bottles. The only bad thing about this type of, uh, you know, airlock is that the dupes run through it. <clears throat> and then they get the morale debuff that, you know, they have soggy feet. But we have enough morale in the colony that I think we're okay. What do we want to put here to mutate? <laughs> Let's do a blossom seed, even though we have no use for them. Let's do it anyways, just at first. Do a little experimentation. <clears throat> And since we have a little metal, I'm going to go... Whoops, not that one. Just this one. Just the checkpoints. <clears throat> Just do that. Wait a minute. I don't want to make these out of steel. No. <laughs> I thought I selected the right thing, but I forgot I switched things. There we go. Gate thing's gonna be right here, so we'll do one more. Might as well do some planning. There. <clears throat> Let's use the Molo seeds. Plant. And. Okay, so this is a blossom seed. Hmm. Do blossom seed. We're gonna do sweep only. We're gonna do this one and sweep 
and we'll just stick it in there. <clears throat> then we'll just watch if we get any other mutations so that we can check it out. Okay, looks like we got most of this. Probably wouldn't hurt to get some more slime in place. <clears throat> um, probably also wouldn't hurt to work on this. Let me see. So one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. There. That way we can get up. <clears throat> and then I can take this out. This out. Excellent. Uh, let's also do that. There we go. So that that is taken care of. <clears throat> um, and then we can decide here soon where we want to come in and get more stuff. Um, there is some algae here we can just grab really quick. And I'm going to continue to grab this stuff. Let's just take a quick gander where we're at on stuff. Um, I know we're going to want more igneous rock soon. And of course we're going to be digging down here. Oh, we got this set up. We can... Polluted water. Oh, they've got it separated now. Okay. That's interesting. Or maybe not. No, they don't. They just have it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, okay, never mind. I'm just stupid. Uh, ignore me. <laughs> Alright, so that's set. Not that this is built, but this is our problem. What are we draining water for? Oh, we've been draining it into here, which we don't need anymore. We can actually deconstruct that. These will drown now. Which does mean I need to stick that in, and then I need to stick this in. Uh, we need power to both of these, so we'll do that. And then we're going to need railing to take it up. Like that. Um, okay, we started getting these. So this one's picking up blossomed seeds. So we want to take the edible bristleberry. Yeah, so it's going to pick up. It's going to take the bristleberry, go this way. So that means we need to do that. There we go. That's why it's stuck. <laughs> Conveyor rail is blocked. Okay, so let me see here. So it's coming this way. It's going to go in, go out, and then it's going to come in. Oh, it has nowhere to go. Okay, so I see. So we just need to priority construction. Um, these last little pieces here. Didn't need that one, but yeah, let's 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 get those taken care of. Because <clears throat> otherwise, it's stuck. Oh, settings. <clears throat> All right, this is the second one. This one's gonna take again edible, but it is taking the grub fruit. And in the future, we might even have spindly grub fruit. Cool. All right. Uh, so we'll let them finish this. And then our automation should be done as far as all of this goes. There we go. This one's going to again take... Bristleberry. Um, what, what, what button am I pushing? I want this one. Okay, so we want to do that. This one we don't have to worry about. 
That is good. We just need to build these little pieces here, and the whole thing will be functional, and we can include the seats. Um, because <clears throat> that's the one thing we haven't included. So we need to come down to here. Um, these are blossom seeds. There we go. There we go. And there we go. These are going to take grub shoot seeds. There we go. There we go. And it should... <clears throat> there we go. It's going to send all the seeds down to here. Alright. Awesome. Um, this is already storing. We'll have to put the automation down here as well. This one's built. We can tell it to pick up the meat. We'll... There we go. We'll set it up after a bit to also pick up the eggshells and transport them over here. But for right now, that's... It's not needed. So... But we'll get there. Alright. Anyways, that completes this episode. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.